Hey guys, I'm on break so there won't be a full video today, but I also didn't want to leave you all with nothing, so let's just briefly talk about some climate change updates that came out a month or two ago. The US Global Change Research Program released the fifth national climate assessment back in November, and then as a result a ton of other articles have been written in summary of those findings. Now, if you want to read the full assessment yourself, I highly recommend doing so because it's a fascinating read. I'll just briefly mention some of the things I found interesting. There's a nice overview page that summarizes a lot of the main points, so I'll just briefly go over that with you guys. Climate change is a fluid system. It's not just about stopping or not stopping climate change, but for each degree of warming we avoid, we can prevent suffering, cost, and death. U.S. emissions have decreased and will continue to do so since its peak in 2007, which is mostly due to innovations in technological developments of renewable energy as well as reduced cost of those items, but this pace needs to be quicker. Climate change such as rising sea levels, shift in seasonal and weathering events, etc. are unprecedented for thousands of years. This one is expected and we talked about quite a lot on this channel. The cost to the United States has increased from $1 billion per 4 weeks to $1 billion per 3 weeks, up to $150 billion per year, which is a conservative estimate, and this is caused by extreme events caused by climate change. This is the most fascinating one since it really shows you the cost of climate change exponentially increasing, the cost of any future consequences of not dealing with climate change will far outweigh any cost we incur from making transitions to renewables. This is something I have said time and time again. If you truly care about economic growth and the livelihood of people, paying a smaller cost now is much more beneficial than paying a bigger cost later. Anyway, as expected, communities of lower income are disproportionately affected by climate change. We've known this for a while now. Poorer people, not just in the US, but in the world, are the first to be screwed. Ecosystems and coral reefs are seeing reductions in biodiversity and wildlife, which is a positive feedback loop for more environmental destruction. The effects of climate change harms economic growth by disrupting supply chains, increasing consumer costs, and further use of tax money to resolve climate-related issues. Oh, and here's a nice projection graph we got. Pretty neat. So anyway, what can we learn from this? The main points of the report are generally things we knew already. The difference is that this is a good update as to what we know now and what we should do going forwards, as well as updated projections and where we're at in terms of the numbers. I only went over the overview page with you all. The report is very long, it's divided into subsections, which you can check out if you want more figures and data on some of the specifics. Some of the report goes into detail as to what this means for the United States specifically, divided into regions, and those are interesting, so I recommend giving it a read. Anyway, I'm going back to my vacation. See you later.